Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Doesn't matter how new your computer is. It only has a limited amount of resources. So you got to keep an eye on your CPU and your memory and your disks and, and potentially your network traffic. You've got to know what's going on, especially if you don't know what's going on. And uh, you can do this by way of the resource monitor tool, which you might know comes with Windows Vista. But Microsoft has improved the resource monitor tool inside of Windows 7. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. I'm running uh, the uh, beta build 7000 of Windows 7 inside of VMware Fusion, which is a, a, a virtual machine software. And if you want uh, a coupon for VMware Fusion, let me know. I can, I can probably save you some money. So you know you can open up the Windows Task Manager by the keyboard shortcut or right-clicking your taskbar and choosing Task uh, Manager. Uh, on the performance tab of the task manager, you will see the button that says resource monitor. Again, this would be inside of Windows Vista or Windows 7 as I'm in right now. And the first thing you're going to notice about the resource monitor tool inside of Windows 7 is that they took the graphs and they put them to the side rather than keeping them running along the top. And the reason why is because the old version of the resource monitor, the one that comes with Vista, uh, as you would uh, cascade out uh, these various uh, sections or subsections of the resource monitor tool, uh, the uh, charts would kind of scroll off. The, uh, the graphs you would no longer be able to see. So this way, you're able to dive in deeper. And right now I'm on the overview tab to see a CPU, disk, network, and, and memory uh, resources and information. They also have a CPU subtab, memory subtab, disk subtab, network subtab. Um, so I'm able to just go just insanely deep into all of these uh, parts of my system. Uh, I really, uh, I think more than anything, appreciate the network section where they list off uh, the services, uh, the addresses at which they're listening, uh, or potentially even the ports and the firewall status for any of those particular programs or services, uh, which is really, really, really nice. Uh, just again, for, for, for understanding what's going on. And of course, as I flip between uh, these various tabs, or as I said, sub tabs, because you got the overview and then you can dig, dig down even further, uh, the uh, charts or graphs will change as well. So memory for memory, disk for disk, network for network, CPU for CPU, and then of course the overview. Uh, they did a really good job at uh, you know really, um, really spicing it up. Uh, and if you're a power user, I'm sure you're going to appreciate the resource monitor tool inside of Windows 7, especially if you kind of liked it in Windows Vista. And I kind of liked it, but it just wasn't enough. This, I think, is enough. And I know there's likely like a zillion free resource monitor tools on the net, but hey, at least this one comes with the operating system, nothing you have to install. It's already there. Uh, it's just another one of those things that uh, Microsoft's been working on under the hood for Windows 7. Very happy to see that. Now, if you know of any other uh, new features or maybe some upgraded features in Windows 7 that you want to pass along, my email address is chris at perillo.com. Of course, we have tons of techs and uh, techs. Well, I guess we do. They are techs, technicians, tech enthusiasts at geeks.perillo.com, a social network for people like you and me, power users. Then, of course, we also have a chat room, and we're typically talking tech there. And uh, the chat room is a part of this live video feed thing that we recorded live and then of course uploaded not so live at a later date. Uh, you're more than welcome to stop by the chat room however and be a part of this experience. Typically talking tech 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.